I began to, to recall the section. All right, everyone, we are going to start the section within the next few minutes because I still want to wait for maybe some other people want to come in this Saturday morning. Perfect. Thanks, Suming. You're wonderful. Thank you, Alan. As I always say, if we make it possible, all of you make it wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Just got to make it possible, put the thing, pieces in place to make it possible for people to be wonderful. Yeah. And thank you for being able to do that. You're awesome too, Jen. Yeah, it, it, it is the whole, there's a collective effort of our team actually, Jen, Carrie. Yeah. Yes. All right, we run, run one more cycle and then we start our session. All right, all participants, what you see is, is the picture and photo of our faculty of social work, the student, the staff member, the experience, what it looked like when you're a student at the faculty of social work, you of Calgary. They have fun. All right, uh, good morning everyone. Today is, let me see, because this is my habit to say, okay. So we have eight participants, including three of us. Okay, um, <clears throat> we don't have quite a large audience at the moment, so then I just want to keep it more informal. Is that okay? Before we begin, before we begin, I just remind everyone this section is recorded for the convenience of those who cannot make it to this section. So that's one let you know. All right. So today is uh, October the 3rd, Saturday, 2020. Now we are in Alberta. Uh, now the time is 10.35. This section is around 45 minutes. Are we okay? Are we waiting to go now? Good, perfect. So <clears throat> welcome to the Faculty of Social Work, U of Calgary. You see my background now, U of Calgary. <laughs> So I'm going to share you a PowerPoint first so that the section is around 45 minutes. The first 15 minutes is going to have our presentation about the social work, all right, our program and how you can apply to our program. And then the, the, the rest 30 minutes will be the Q&A. I, as I said, we don't have a large audience at the moment, so that I just want to make it more informal. So that along our presentation, you can always jump in and then ask questions as well. Are we okay with that? Do we have a consent? Because I'm a social worker. You can use your thumb up actually, okay. <laughs> All right, because uh, <clears throat> I'm multitasking as always, so that sometimes if uh, you will raise your hand and, and I cannot see you, just, just shout it out so that I want to ask a question, that would be fine. Are we okay? There's a free society, I treasure freedom of speech. All right, so I share this PowerPoint first in here. One second, the technical. Good to see you all. Thanks for being here and your interest. We'll get started in just a minute. We're just bringing up our PowerPoint. Yes. Yeah. And I'm um, Ellen Pro. I'm the Dean in the Faculty of Social Work at the University of Calgary. It's so nice to have you here. Um, our, as we know, our faculty, staff, and students are all across Alberta, Canada, uh, internationally uh, other uh, and other locations so it's really good to have you here if if you can 
put maybe um, any hello or anything in the chat. If you have your video, it would be wonderful to be able to see you and get to meet you. If, if you don't mind turning it on, if, if it's convenient or you feel comfortable doing that, we'd love to actually meet you. Um, we've got Jen here, who's a student advisor, and uh, we'd, we'd love to actually say hello and, and uh, get to know you. Hopefully. All right. Yeah. And we have Jennifer here, our associate dean. Good. Thank you. Sorry about a technical glitch. So that I, I'm not a techie person, but I have presented this thing so many times. We still have things to. Something always happens. This is life, actually. But anyway, so that can you see the PowerPoint? Can anyone see the PowerPoint? Looks good. Yes, you can see it. Great. You can see it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Um, all right, thank you for coming to our section. So in the next 45 minutes, I will introduce you, or our team will introduce you, introduce you a profession which allows you to understand yourself, help others, and build a community. The name of the profession is called social work. So in this section, we will talk about social work, why social work, and how to apply to the social work program at the U of Calgary. So we are doing land acknowledgement first, so that uh, may I ask uh, our Dean, Adam Perot, to do the land acknowledgement. Absolutely. As you see here on our slide, that's the statement that our University of Calgary uses for land acknowledgements in any meeting that we're in, in classes that we're in, just to remind us that in Alberta, let's say we're on the traditional territories of the people of 45 First Nations, in three treaty areas, we have Treaty 8, Treaty 7, Treaty 6, and we deeply appreciate our Indigenous peoples for the privilege of working, learning, and living on these lands and the lands that we're on today. We'll find out where you are today as well in, in a little while. The sage that you see behind me, right here, can you see it, that one there? Yes. That that is something that um, was gathered with an elder for our faculty uh, because we really want to honor Indigenous ways. And here I am in my office in McKimmy Tower. So welcome. I'm Ellen. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. So next slide. All right, just an introduction so that we are going to introduce ourselves. So in the morning section, I'm Siu Ming Kwok. The associate in our undergrad program of the Faculty of Social Work at U of Calgary. And then you, you know Ellen now. Ellen is our Dean of the Faculty of Social Work. And also Jennifer Jenke, our student advisor. She's now in here, actually. If you have any kind of question about how to apply to the social work program, and then you can contact directly to Jen and also do your chat box in here. And then Jen will you answer your question as well. In the afternoon section, we have our colleague Ian Carey, and also is the undergrad program director of the Faculty of Social Work. Susan Cripp, another student advisor, will be doing another section in the afternoon. So uh, I want to introduce myself first. I am, a, I am so Siu Ming Kwok. It's quite difficult to remember my name, actually. So let's call me Siu Ming. Uh, I'm a social worker all in my life. I have a diploma in social work. Bachelor, de bachelor degree in social work, master in social work, and PhD in social work. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm head to toe, I'm a social worker. So I practice and teach in a number of places before, including Hong Kong, China, uh, British Columbia, uh, what, and Ontario, and now Alberta. So I know quite, a quite, quite well about a social work in Canada as well as overseas. So I was on the accreditation board of the Canadian Social Work, a Canadian Association for Social Work Education, which is accredited our program. And also I'm now on the Alberta College of Social Worker, which is registration for the RSW. So you would know it in a minute more. So, uh, and one more thing I want to say that social work is a challenging but meaningful and rewarding career, you're going to learn it. And we work with marginalized populations. You will see the 
you will see so many injustice in this society. However, at the same time, you will see about the resiliency of people. You will see people's dream and you will see the determination of the people to make a difference in our society. If you love people, you love to, to protect the freedom of people and you will love social work. So what is social work actually? Social work is two, two area. It is a practice profession and academic discipline. So it's a combination of two. You have academic side and you have the practice side, more hands-on experience, you are profession. And we do social justice, empowerment of the people, liberation of the people, human rights, collective responsibility, respect for diversity is essential, our core belief of our social world. So why you choose Calgary or Calgary Faculty of Social Work? There's a number of reasons. So we have quite a large faculty. We are the largest faculty in Canada, actually, in terms of social work program. So you can study in Calgary, you can study in Edmonton, you can study in Lethbridge. It's across Canada, actually. And we have an online program as well, so that no matter where you are, inside and outside the province, you can take our program. We are internationally recognized in terms of our researcher and our strong, strong research focus. As I said before, I on the accreditation board before, so I can say that Calgary Social Work Program is one of the most solid program in Canada. Unlike other big class, we are small class size. We are around 25 to 35 students in one class so that your professor would know about your name, know more about your background and try to take care of you in terms of academic size. And also we have a proud history of offering social work program and the BSW program in Canada, in Canada and in the province. We have over 50 years. And in the past, like you can see that we have all our program across the province. We have a power history. Because of our history, we offer BSW, but then it's bachelor degree in social work, master in social work, and PhD in social work. Once you get into the program BSW, if you are so interested to move further, we have a pathway for you to move from BSW to the master degree in social work. And if you like, you go to the PhD of social work as well. Social work is a profession. Um, as I say, we are not, not only accredited by the academic side of CASWE, which is Canadian Association for Social Work Education. We are also recognized by the Alberta College of the Social Workers. So once you graduate, then you are eligible to register as a professional college and earn the title of RSW, which means Registered Social Worker, under the Health Professional Act of Alberta. So you're a professional. So what social work so, so what social worker do actually? I will ask Ellen, our dean, to let you know more in this area. Ellen? Yes. Um, really, our, our society needs more social workers, and we sincerely hope that you consider applying to our program. Uh, social workers, they build communities, um, they provide psychotherapy, they support families, they work towards making sure that everyone has an equitable future. Social workers really believe in the power of diversity and we believe in helping people at the societal level, at the community level. We believe in helping people at the family level and at the individual, personal, one-on-one um, -on -one level. So no matter what you choose to apply to, um, I'd really recommend that you make sure it's something you feel passionate about, you feel like it's something you're called to do, um, personally, I took a while to find my passion and inspiration. Uh, here I am, I'm the Dean in the Faculty of Social Work, but I started in, in college in economics and I wanted to be a lawyer. Then I went into commerce and um, then I went into pre-med. I, I went to a different institution. Um, that really wasn't what I wanted to do. Pre-med wasn't what I wanted to do. Then I took a degree in psychology from the University of Alberta. 
because I thought, oh, I, I want to do one-on-one -on -one therapy. Um, so then I got my degree in psychology. I got my degree in sociology. Um, and then I worked at a crisis center. I did child welfare. And I realized, wait a minute, the people around me I want to be just like are actually social workers. So then I went back and I did a a bachelor of social work and a master's of social work and a PhD, like uh, Su Ming did from the University of Calgary. So uh, yeah, I hope that you can consider applying to us um, because I think if, if it is a passion for you to think about working in child welfare, in schools, uh, government, there's so many opportunities and different places that you can work. We know that uh, the the um, finance minister at the provincial government in Alberta was a social worker. Uh, we've had federal leaders that are social workers. You can work in politics. You can work in government. You can be the dean of the social work faculty. Uh, there's lots of opportunities. I'll turn it back over to you, Sumi. <laughs> so what social work has to as I say, uh, there's a number, number of places you, you can work in. For example, here, the summer example, like healthcare, social program, community organization, government department, corrections. I was a probation officer before, actually. Uh, college, like I asked, now I'm teaching, and the school social work at high school. Yeah. And of course, individual counseling, uh, work as, with other professionals, for example, as a team, uh, psychology, nurse, healthcare professional, police, criminal justice system as well. And then other than that, you can move or you can move and do some like policy analysis, develop social and community program, advocate for social justice and social change. And of course, conduct research. We emphasize also on the evidence-based practice. So what you were going to learn in a social work program, there's a number of good things you're going to learn. It's about the professional value and ethic of social work, human rights, social justice, respect for diversity, what's diversity? And then of course, research, critical thinking, logical reasoning, policy analysis, and a skill set to work of individual, group, organization, and community. In simple terms, our training will allow you to understand yourself, help others, and build a community. So there are different pathways to a BSW program. And if you're a high school student now, you cannot apply to the BSW program of us. Um, however, if you're interested, you, you need to complete about two years of, uh, you need to complete about two years of post-secondary study first because Faculty of Social Work program at Calgary is a professional program so that we only have third year or fourth year. So that please study the first two years at the university first. However, if you want to come in, you have to study about the 201, which is called Introduction to Social Work. So there are two possible routes to us to get to the program. The first one is called UT, we call it University Transfer. You take two years of non-social work university transfer courses at the U of Calgary or other institutions, plus we call it 201, Introduction to Social Work. We offer Social Work 201 online. The second, the second channel is through the Alberta Social Work Diploma. You complete a Social Work Diploma at the Alberta College. We have a transfer agreement. And Jen is the expert in this area. If you have more questions, I will refer you to Jen to answer this one as well. So two more slides, and then we have a video from Alberta College of Social Worker, and then we have Q&A. There are a lot of opportunity working outside the class, classroom. You have practicum. So you're not only studying in the classroom. We will ask you to go and practice in the agency as a part of your study. You have research participation. Every year, we have tons quite a number of research projects of our faculty member, really good research assistant. For me personally, over the past, like over the past two decades, I regularly support students to go to conference, support them to go to overseas to present, make a presentation as well. And we have we have number of like overseas opportunity, like travel study, you can see the picture in here and a poster on the right corner as well. Have fun overseas. So what kind of question do you have in a social work for us? So that we're going to answer that question. And the last line in here is 
not the second last actually, because if you're so interested to learn more about social work after this section, so please, I encourage you to go to a number of information sections, which unfold from now to the year 2000, year 2021, okay, next year. So if you are interested, like to know more, please go to this section. This PowerPoint in the PDF format will be available for you. Please send us an email or you can leave a message in the chat box so that we can send you a copy. Yeah. And this is our social work faculty, our family actually, so that we are coming here to invite you to join our family, our social work team. Okay, looking forward to seeing you and your application. And then we are now, I'm going to show you a video about Social work is from the Alberta College of Social Worker. social work that is something um, that I one second because I need to make sure the audio is okay Irish folks invite you into their home uh, without second guessing they trust you because they believe that they're there to help you and you are you're genuine in your intentions um, to help them at whatever station they're at in their life. Social work is really about um, walking along with people. It's kind of a, the profession of humanity. Um, social work really recognizes the impacts of um, social injustices on people and really works on uh, challenging those and challenging those social structures that have really created challenges for people so that they can break those barriers and be the best that they can be. Um, social work really spoke to me because of that strengths-based um, humanistic perspective where it's not about what's wrong with people but rather how can we walk with people to get them to meet those challenges that they've been faced with. I think we always need a social worker in every room of society. Um, and I, I would hope that we continue that, that more people come into social work and uh, that the government institutions such as child welfare and uh, children's services uh, change their policies and make all child welfare workers um, mandatory that they're all social workers so they become part of a regulated profession because you can be intensely um, focused and um, about doing something but it's very important that you regulate it about it too so I think it's important that social work balances both and I think that's the good thing about ACSW is we balance both so we balance the regulation aspect as long along with our code and our values um, so I, I'm, I'm very optimistic about social work our numbers are increasing ACSW, we're close to 8,000 now, and I think it's just going to increase more and more. We're connected nationally, so I, I think the, the future for social work is good. One of the core social work values and principles that's the most important to me is service to humanity. And as I uh, grew and developed in my career as a social worker, and particularly um, began working in leadership, it became uh, more pressing and important for me to give back to my profession. Um, and the way to do that was to become involved uh, with the council at the Alberta College of Social Workers. Um, we are very privileged in Alberta and as a profession of social work to be self-regulated. Our government um, entrusts us with that um, privilege in terms of as social workers we know our profession the best and we have the opportunity in council to contribute to the profession, to be aware of what the issues are that are important to social workers, and to use our voices and to speak up, whether it be to government, to other social workers, or to organizations that represent and advocate for the clients that we all work with. I'm, I'm a so singer-songwriter, um, and 
a poet, creative writer. Uh, and as a result of that, I got involved in something called the World Arts Organization and um, uh, was able to uh, develop uh, an understanding of what's called expressive arts. And expressive arts is based on the concept of um, the process of creating the art in and of itself uh, is extremely valuable and therapeutic, if you will. Uh, and that engaging in that process uh, has inherent worth. Everyone has an artistic uh, ability. It's intrinsic to who they are. Uh, we've been able to work with people so that they can understand the value uh, of expressive arts. And also we've uh, done workshops at the Alberta College's Social Workers uh, Conference to talk to people about uh, how to utilize the expressive arts ideas and approaches and multimediums uh, within social work. It's fun and, is, and it's enjoyable, but it can also have uh, a therapeutic uh, effect as well, and it can also promote change. I've seen a lot more people wanting to choose our profession and I've seen a lot of shift in the social justice and macro level of need uh, where we do shift um, into policy making and into government services and we're all really quite proud that people with social work background are now in um, our legislative assembly as cabinet ministers making those policy changes to help um, regular people and, and citizens in Alberta. So I've worked in many variety of settings and the important thing in those settings is always the relationship with your client and joining with them to see what their needs are and what their strengths are. But in terms of the um, resources they need and the social supports, the social justice aspect uh, was really key to my thinking in terms of changing systems to help people better. And so I really see that's the calling of social work practice is both to work with people individually, but also to look at the resources they need and how government services and supports for services in your community can help families and children and individuals. All right, can you hear me? Perfect. Welcome to social work. So uh, now it's Q&A session so that um, you have any kind of question related to social work. Oh, sorry, this. Can you hear the background noise? Okay. One. Okay, there's always some technical things happen behind me. I don't know why. If you have a question, you could put it in the chat area or use your microphone or whichever way you'd like. We'd love to meet you. If you'd like to tell us who you are and where you're from and, and bring us a question or comment. Any question? Hi, Oluwani. Do you have a question? Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Oluwumi. Uh, I'm from Nigeria. Um, well, I've been in Canada for um, six years now. Um, I, well, I wanted to study social work because of my passion to help others. Well, in Nigeria, I'm a lawyer back home, and um, I wanted to find the same passion that relates to helping people, social justice, dignity for human and the rest. And of course, um, Canada being a, a country that, you know, provides human services for its citizens. We don't have such in Nigeria, the same social structure right in Nigeria. And um, I found social work a great fit for me, being able to, you know, fulfill my passion. So um, I, I did, uh, um, right, um, I, did, I did attend the class for Social Work 201 um, this summer and um, well my question now is um, I just want to know if having a degree in law, of course I did go through all the requirements and um, 
I well, I personally, you know, it's something that I feel that I feel I'm qualified, and then I get to apply, and from the application process, it says not really that even if you have all the processes laid down, if you have all the paper, um, the um, the grades expected, you're not so sure or being guaranteed an admission. So my question is, what guarantees an admission? Having fulfilled all the requirements, having attended the social work to one class and having a good grade, having, um, you know, all the requirements. So to me, what, what, what do you feel really is? What I can do to make me have um, been sure that I'm going to be admitted for social work? Did you hear me? Yes, yeah, no, thank you. I'll, I'll no, no, Jen no. or Jennifer or Suming can, can pitch in, but uh, we would love to have your application. Ideally, if you could have a 3.2 GPA, that would probably be uh, ideal from your previous degrees. Um, although we do have a special assessment that can be done if, if you would like to apply through that route. We also have the opportunity perhaps um, to, uh, once you're in the program, if, if you meet the requirements, we also have the opportunity in the coming years as Dean, I can provide exceptions if there's certain yeah. courses that you've had that fit with the courses that you would take. Um, I, as Dean, I can substitute those in. Uh, we would love your application, uh, but there is no guarantee. Every year there's different applicants, different number of applicants, So, uh, and we have a number of spots that we have to fill. So uh, it really depends on who's applying th this year, um, but ideally if you have um, uh, 3.4, 3.6, GPA is important, but in social work it's not just GPA. We look at your references. We look at uh, your character, your ability to work with others uh, in those references and in your past work. So if you have work experience, if you have uh, volunteer experience that's in social service areas, um, those kinds of things really strengthen your application. So it's not all about your GPA, but you would need a, a minimum GPA to start with. Um, I'm not sure, Jen, Jen or Suming, did you have anything to add? That things you uh, I, I, will, I will leave the question to Jen for the technical things about application, but the one more thing I want to add is we have quite have a quite a large number of colleagues with a law degree actually, because it's a quite a good match between social work and the legal profession. So I have, I teach other universities as well, and there's a required law and social work actually, which was taught by a lawyer and our colleague they have a, they have a, well, a LLB and, and master in law degree as well. Jen? Yeah, so actually what I wanted to highlight, because um, it sounds like you're really asking about ways that you can um, improve your application or increase your likelihood of getting into the program. And so um, I did want to highlight that we're going to have a couple of information sessions coming up that are specific to preparing a strong application to the program. So I just popped the link in the chat. Uh, where you can register for those sessions. So there's one in November and one in February. And I would say definitely if you want to put forth your best application, come to one of these sessions. Um, our faculty members who evaluate our applications are going to be leading those. Um, and that's going to be a really great way to get some of that kind of inside intel on the application process that we don't have online. Um, so that was really what I wanted to highlight for you. And one more thing I want to add, uh, it's not about this question, just in general. If sometime in this section you cannot think about any question, maybe because of whatever reason, you can always contact us later or give your name to Jen, to us, to me and Ellen, so that we will, we will contact you later, so that I understand that sometimes you may not have questions at a section. But when you go home, the, oh, I forgot something, so that you can come back to us, we are always welcome. Yeah, go absolutely, home. yeah. And just coming back to you, Olo Omni, do you, do you have any other questions or did we answer? Uh, is there something else that we could maybe help you with around your application? We'd love to see you apply. <laughs> Hi, uh, yeah, my name is Sandra. I do have a question. Go ahead, okay. Sandra. Okay, so I am actually thinking about applying, but it says on the um, Apply Alberta student 
admissions that I have to complete the application if I've never attended the University of Calgary. But I took a course this summer, the um, psychology, intro to psychology course. So does that, uh, is that the same as uh, attending the university or is that just no, uh, high school? Did, did you take it through open studies or did you end up applying to the University of Calgary Faculty of Arts and getting in? Oh, I didn't apply. I just took the course. So I think it okay, was yeah. open studies. Yeah. Jen, do you know about those courses in high school and how they might relate to applications? So everybody has to apply to our program as an external applicant. We don't have a change of program process or like an internal transfer process uh, for students who were previously registered in another program. Um, in Apply Alberta, I'm not super familiar with that uh, system, but if it's asking if you've previously applied, or sorry, previously attended University of Calgary, it might be looking for your UC ID number. Um, that's what it could be getting at there. That's something that if you did want to check in with us, you can send an email to bswinfo at ucalgary.ca and maybe include a screenshot of what you're seeing. Um, just because I'm not 100% familiar with with that sort of part of the process to be able to tell you offhand exactly what that's trying to get at. Okay, thank you. Because yeah, I do have an E ID and a U C I D number. So perfect. Yeah. yeah, you'll probably have to provide those at some point in the application process because that's how okay. um, our system will link the new application that you're launching to your previous profile. Oh, thank you. Any other questions related to social work in general? or our application process. You're so welcome to ask any kind of question. Hi. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Tolu, Megan. Um, I just wanted to ask also, um, I know there is a, sorry, I joined this meeting later. I don't know if this has been answered or I've been talked about, so sorry about that. Um, this person, this, uh, it says that we have to write an admission, a letter for um, admission, um, an, yeah, a letter. So I was wondering what, what would you feel should, the letter should entail? What, I, what do you feel I should, I should, what are the strong points you think should uh, be included in the letter? And of course it says five pages and it gives the guidelines, but I was wondering if there's anything specific that you would advise that should be in the letter? Yeah, I'd recommend, Alamami, that you do include your personal experience, your previous experience as a lawyer, you include your, that you're from Nigeria, you include that uh, you're passionate about these areas that fit with social work, because we're trying to decide, are you a fit with social work? And, um, and so if you can explain to us how, how your passion fits with social work, with our code of ethics, with our uh, ideas of, of, and our frameworks and, and where our profession is going, that would be probably best. We're, we're looking at, at how you write, uh, how you write academically. So um, we're also looking at how you think, if it's logical, if it's coherent, um, and if you're able to be a critical thinker. So are, do you see things in just black and white, or do you kind of see the complexity of things? So that's kind of what I look for when I'm reading through the proposals or the letter, the papers that go with, with your application. Um, so Ming, what do you look for? What kinds of things are you looking at? As I say at the beginning, social work is a, both a uh, profession and an academic discipline so that you have demonstrate about your fit of both. You are quite logical in thinking in terms of thing. Uh, this is academic side and also you also have so certain kind of competency in potential transfer of skill because for example in your particular case you are a lawyer so that how are you going to transfer about your learning transfer about your knowledge to the social world in terms of what other passion you have okay translate about your knowledge into the new area you're going to learn new things and how you're going to combine the new things with your like current knowledge and you will make best for you as a good candidate 
Yeah, and Jen's mentioned that the info sessions could be really good. I don't know, Jennifer, is there anything that you want to add in terms of what you might look at in terms of those proposals or, or those extra written pieces that we ask for in the application? <laughs> Yes, I'm so, um, thank you for your question and others' comments. I, I think this is uh, exactly why we developed these uh, sessions about how to develop a strong application because of exactly your question. Um, and I think, you know, really looking for um, an applicant's diverse experiences that they've had, you know, um, Again, it's not just GPA. It's really about what are your lived experiences? What are your passion and your dream for pursuing social work? You know, what's that, what's that combination of um, academics, uh, work, volunteer experience, and your interest in, and commitment um, to making the world a better place? you know, for people to, uh, to be an advocate, to um, as some of the things you've already shared about that what's that missing link for you that law is not fully providing, you know? And so often when I'm talking to applicants or, or students who are wanting to go on to our other programs and I'll say, don't forget to tell your story. We, we want to hear about you and why you want to be at the U of C and why you want to be in our faculty. But we also don't, we also need to know, um, you know, have it written in a way that also shows that you can write it at a, at a graduate level or at a, a bachelor level, uh, so it's not just a journal entry. Uh, so finding that balance, but really not forgetting to tell your story. And, um, and as has already been mentioned, GPA is one part of the application, but it's not the only part. So, so making sure that you and your resume um, and in your writing include all of the other experiences that you've had that have directed you towards social work. So, thank you. Uh, I think one more information is because we have a, a number of information sessions as well. So you are so welcome to come to those. Some of them actually give you advice about how to strengthen your applications. I, and also I sit on a number, number of admission committee before, and I reviewed thousands, thousands of applications before. So that and I, I can also like, in some of information session, actually I will going to provide you more advice about how to strengthen your application package. For example, how to write a good academic essay for application application, how to ask your referee to write a good reference letter for you because I can tell about it's a cut and paste things or it's a tailor make letter actually. So I'll give that kind of practical tips for you. One last thing is I always I always share with our students say that every morning I hope to I hope that you are awakened by your your dream, not by the alarm clock. So that, and also at the same time, a social worker is not just dream. And then you will plan a concrete step ahead about how, how to achieve your dream. So we have dream, and also we have a plan to achieve our dream. This is social work. Yeah, and I, I just, I'd really like to add that we'd love to have your applications, even if you're not quite sure, um, we would be excited to, to have your applications. And just to let you know that you would be joining a really up and coming university. The University of Calgary is over 50 years young, it's innovative, it's entrepreneurial, it's respectful, it's bold. Um, you know, we, we partner with all kinds of society initiatives. We, we really want to advance humankind. Uh, we're number one in young North American universities. We're ranked among the top young universities in the world. And the Faculty of Social Work is one of the founding schools at the University of Calgary. Um, so it would be the largest faculty in Canada that you would join if you joined the Faculty of Social Work. We've got a thousand students, 50 faculty members, um, we've got 600 undergrad BSW students, 400 graduate, 20 PhD students, and you'd be very proud of our degree. Um, as Sue Bing said, we've been accredited for the extent of the accreditation possible. Uh, we're, we're ranked among the top schools in the world, and we're really proud of the way our scholars work. They are the top researchers, they write textbooks, they change policy, they, they write social policy, they, they uh, you know, our, our, our faculty are outstanding. Um, not only in their own 
classrooms and in their own research, but they are really keen on community-based, collaborative kinds of change, and, and uh, they create incredible positive change. So I hope that you'll consider applying to our faculty. Thank you. And the other question related to social work, to you of Calgary Social Work Program and the application process. Hi, good morning. My name is Danica. Um, I was just wondering, so with the university transfer program, say if it was um, example like sociology, is there kind of like a hiccup when you're transferring into social work or like how exactly is that? What do you mean by a hiccup? <laughs> like, sorry, like would we, would we just not, like with the courses and everything, how would we know if it would like mesh together? Would we be confused because we missed so much of it? Cause you know how there's like the diploma for social work. So if I would be transferring to your teacher, would I just be missing all this information or? No, so the curriculum for the university transfer route and the diploma route is different. Okay. Um, and I can, our um, faculty facilitators here can address that more, but I did just wanna talk about sort of that transfer um, process quickly. So um, if you've taken the sociology courses here at the UFC, then no problem at all. You know they're gonna be transferable. Um, if you've taken them at another accredited Canadian university, they are most likely going to be transferable. If you've taken them at a college, that's where sometimes they may or may not be. And so if you studied in Alberta, and this applies to any institution in Alberta, you can refer to the Alberta Transfer Guide um, to check on the transferability of those courses. And so you do need the 57 units of non-social work. That can be any subject. Sociology is just one. And so that's typically about 19 courses. Um, and then Social Work 201 or its equivalent. Oh, okay. So that would just... Just my only concern was like since I missed two years already from well obviously if I'd be transferring then it would it'd be you good. haven't missed two years. Yeah. Everybody okay. transfers into social work after two years. Um, okay. So you're all starting at the same point. Okay, thank you so much. We look forward to your application, Danica. <laughs> Danica, sociology is so close to social work in terms of academic background. And I say, social work covers from individual, group, society, the macro level. So that is covered almost everything from psychology and sociology as well. And we work together with many, many good friends, many, many good friends from sociological department, psychology department, education department as well. So we work together. It's so nice matching actually with other profession. Looking forward to your application. Any other question? Because we are over one for five minutes, uh, because I also teach social work management as well, so that I'm conscious about the time. So uh, I also respect about people's time to get scheduled. So um, how about this way? We have uh, two more questions, and then we wrap up. And then, and then of course, if you have any questions, so please, please contact us again. And then if you want to get a copy of the PowerPoint in PDF format, please, please contact us. Or you can left your, your email, not in the public, and you can a private chat in here to me, to Ellen, or to Jan. All right, so that I don't want your email show in the public place. So that please leave your name, name, uh, and the contact number, not the phone number, but your email so that I can send you the copy, okay? Any more questions? Any kind of question? I think I have one more question. Yeah. Since I just want to know, is there um, any um, information that on the certificate when you finish your okay. work that suggests either you went for an online school that is a virtual type school or you went or you did your classes online? I mean, in school, I mean. What I mean is that in social work, you can either attend schools online or you can do it in person. That's what I mean. So no. I just wanted to know, does no. it, when you want to now get a job, does it affect if you attended the classes no. online or you actually attended them in school, in classes? 
I can take that one. Um, hello, I mean, we would be online uh, in our practice as well. So if you take the online course right now, my assumption is that people who are looking for employment, and I actually know this from uh, students that have done their practicums online and then been hired because they have the online practice experience and uh, are knowledgeable about online. It's a real demand right now. Employers are thirsty for people who have online abilities and an online degree uh, indicates that you have those skills. So uh, in some ways, uh, and it, especially an online degree from our university because we've been doing a great job of online um, BSW for 20 years now. So people know that it's a reputable degree that people really do come out with the skills they need and more. They come out with the ability to do the online counseling that the social service system is doing now with the ability to interact online, to build teams online, that kind of thing. So it's, it's probably a strength um, if you take an online program versus a face-to-face -face program. If I may add one more, because of the changing of the landscape in the counseling settings. So now many, many, like many, many us are thinking about, we have to revise our code of ethics because we need to accommodate about online counseling as well. Because now the landscape is changing already. So that it's not only just face-to-face -face counseling, it's online counseling as well. So that for me, if you have online skill set, that would be advantages as a, and a double access for you on your portfolio as well. So that in Canada, as long as you're a credit degree on the BSW program uh, for the on employment situation, I don't think it will make a big difference actually because our virtual learning circle program, which is online, and I will say that many of them are quite highly popular in the, like, in the employment now because especially under the current public health crisis, people can't, they have no choice. They have to do the online counseling as well. So this, now I have online experience, how to teach, online experience, how to do counseling. It would be certainly your advantages as well. I just wanted to add one quick thing. I know we're over for time, but related to the online question, I think there's many different ways that um, academic institutions offer online programs. And so one of the things that's really, I think, a, a wonderful feature of ours is that combination of what we call synchronous and asynchronous. Um, and so I, I know that there's some uh, programs or courses that one could take where you never come in contact with an instructor. It's all independent learning. Um, and we would say it's, you know, it's all asynchronous learning. You know, you're just learning at your own pace and independently. Our classes have a combination of what is happening right now. Like this would be quite typical of one of our online courses where we have Zoom sessions uh, weekly or every couple of weeks with your whole class. You get a chance to meet each other and, and really develop those relationships with each other. Uh, lots of opportunity for conversation. And then there's also time for you to be working independently. So this would be considered a synchronous um, in live time aspect of our online courses. And then we also have the time for you to work independently. and. Uh, when we can to be able to come face to face for residencies for opportunities to meet with each other and share and learn from each other in terms of more of those applied practice skills. So I think it's really important to think about what an online uh, course or program is and, and to really ask those questions with ours that are blend, more blended. Um, I think that's kind of the best of all circumstances and especially as we know during COVID times. Um, to be able to have the opportunities to see each other and develop relationships, as well as to have time where you can learn independently in each of your classes is a, a huge strength, um, I think, of, of our programs in comparison to some other online that, um, that may be available to you. And I, I've heard that from students uh, and, and as well, I, I think that personally as a faculty member in teaching courses as well. So hopefully that adds a little bit more to your decision making about uh, our online offerings. Good, any, any more question? One more question. Okay, if none, you are always welcome to contact us later so that I want to go around so that our colleagues, so Ellen, Jen and Jennifer, do you have any kind of thing, other thing you want to say, share or say to our audience? Uh, I'll, I'll start uh, and then we'll go to Jen and, and Jennifer and then Sue Ming can finish us off. It was a really uh, 
great pleasure to meet all of you today. And uh, all of me, I appreciate that you're here uh, and that you had uh, some of my lectures in Social Work 201. Those of you who have taken so Social Work 201, I, I recognize a couple of your names. So um, I'm thrilled that you're here and continuing to consider social work. Uh, one of the things to, to look at is our online Social Work 201 course. Uh, you can take that in the winter term, spring term, summer term, um, and uh, it, you can either take it through open studies or if you're already a U of C student, you can take it uh, in the winter term as a, as a elective in your program typically. So great to be here. Thank you. Yeah. I guess I can go next. Um, and I do really just want to emphasize again these information sessions that we have coming up. The content of them is completely different from what we were talking about today. Um, so there's kind of two different sessions. There's one that's really focused on our program offerings. That's the main BSW information session. So maybe if you're not sure whether you want online or in person, or you are even deciding you're earlier on and whether you're going to go the university transfer post diploma route, that would be the one for you. Um, and if you're a little bit further along in the process and you're getting ready to apply, please attend the Preparing a Strong BSW application um, session. So these sessions really are the value add. We're going to talk about things that you may not find online. Um, and so it's your opportunity, again, if you've got more questions, to get those questions answered um, and to really hear from more um, faculty and staff in social work, um, kind of about you know, what you might be getting into, what to expect, and, and how to uh, launch a strong application. So I really would encourage you to attend one of those. I know you've attended this, but it will be completely different information, so um, still worthwhile. Jennifer, Jennifer is our associate in teaching and learning at the faculty. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thank you. And it's such a pleasure to be here. I was actually supposed to be staying in the chat area, but I just came over to say hi at the beginning, and I haven't left because I, I just am so excited to... Uh, to meet each of you, to share, um, to share with you how wonderful the faculty is. And I say that coming very late in my life, um, well, it feels like late in my life, to social work. And, you know, having been 15 years in the faculty now, I really wish that when I was, uh, you know, early on in my academic career that I had um, known about social work and pursued social work because I, I didn't fully understand um, what social work does, the important role it plays in society and how social workers are everywhere and doing incredible work and that you're not limited to just micro level work or meso or macro, you can do all of it and you can be in a hospital setting, you can be in a correctional facility, you can be working with children and youth, you can be a community development worker, like there's so many opportunities and I really encourage you to, you know, if, uh, if you're still deciding to really think about just the array of possibilities uh, with a degree in social work and um, we'd, be, we'd love, as we said before, to uh, receive your application and chat more with you about it. Thank you for being here today. All right, uh, Lars, I don't want to take up too much time, so then I have to make it short, simple. Um, two things only. The first one is, I say again, this is a solid program of social work in Calgary across Canada. This is a very, very solid program. I'll give you one example because uh, we have we have an international social work conference. Uh, we are supposed to have an international social work conference this year actually in Calgary because of pandemic situation, we cannot host the, the, the conference. However, that means international conference, that means social work educator, social worker all over the world come to Calgary. That will represent, that will indicate about we are a good program that we can host everyone for social worker to come to Calgary to our program for conference. All right, just let you know these things. Second one is about, um, uh, because I'm not associated in undergrad program, so that of course I welcome you and encourage you to apply to our program. And again, um, again, uh, I am a social worker all in my life for over 35 years already. So I do individual counseling. I do group counseling, I do community work, I organize people to go for protests for something, I, I host press conference, I, I do everything from individual, group, and community. And we are looking forward to join our team so that if you love people, want to understand yourself, like to build a community, want to live in, join our team. Looking forward to your application. And and I'm looking forward to you to see in our program. I bring you to the conference. Are we okay? 
Yeah, thank you, Suming. I'm just going to add that there was going to be 3,000 people that came to our conference uh, here at the Faculty of Social Work in July, but then it went online and we had 20,000, was it? 20,000 people online in that conference. It was very exciting, very thrilling to have social workers from across the globe. And one of the ways that we can connect now internationally with others that are in the social work profession. I see Sandra that you had a, a question in the chat in the other room. So if any of you want to go back and uh, keep chatting in the chat area, um, and if you have any further questions, we'll, we'll meet you back there. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Take care. Let me stop the recording first. <laughs>